Hi, my name is Joseph Bro. Uh, what we're going to do here is do a cabin hood inspection on this International. Uh, first, what we're going to do is do a walk around on the cab, make sure everything is properly working. So, shut this door real quick. So, the door is good, good intact. Make sure the windows are good intact. Uh, make sure your mirrors are good, make sure they're not loose so they're not flopping around in the wind. Uh, second thing, you want to make sure your hood latch is good. Uh, that's good. Come around, make sure this mirror is good. And make sure uh, your wind deflector is good. And come over here, check, make sure that this mirror is good. Uh, while you're at that front, you want to make sure all your lights are good, your running lights, your uh, cab lights. Turn signal's good, that turn signal's good. Your got a headline out right here. High beams. So we got one high beam working, so this light right here is completely out, so this bulb right here needs to be replaced. Walk around this way, all your cat lights work. So you want to check this uh, this mirror, make sure everything's good. Check this window, make sure everything's good. Open the door, make sure that's good. We got another light out right here. Uh, make sure your steps are good. You don't want to climb up and then slip and bunch of days that are. So make sure everything's good, tight. Make sure you come over here. Make sure your mud flap's good and tight. Make sure your walkway is good. Don't slip out. Come over here. Uh, as you can tell, we're missing a mud flap right here. So that needs to be replaced. This needs to put, be replaced for trailer lock. Missing another mud flap right here. And <clears throat> all right, so this, as you can tell, this is kind of weak. So we either probably got a bad ground or it's not getting the true amount of voltage. So we need to do a uh, wire with it or a uh, wire do uh, diagnostics with this. And if the wire diagnostics is good, then we need to replace the entire unit. Uh, uh, flash our right turn signal is good. Left turn signal is not working on this one, so we need to check that. Reverse light. The right back. All right, reverse light is not working, so we have to do another wire diagnostics on that. Oh, never mind. Wire, or the re or reverse light is working. All right, come over here to this mud flap. Good. Check your steps. Good. Check that step. As you can tell the battery bracket is not in good shape. The box to cover the uh, batteries is not nowhere located, so that needs to be. Uh, and put it on or get a new one put it on. <clears throat> Wire over here, you want to check your, your hoses that connect to the trailer. So what you would do is take it off. You look at the rubber. As you can tell, the rubber's cracked. There's a missing piece, so this has, has to be replaced. <clears throat> so you do the same thing to the other one. Make sure the rubber's good. It's kind of dented in right there, kind of... It's got a little bit of cracking right there, so might as well replace this one if you're going to replace the other one. Check the wires, make sure all the connectors inside are good, not corroded or anything like that. 
a little wet in there so that could cause corrosion while you're at it you want to check your lines check all your hoses make sure there's no leaks or anything like that make sure that you do the same thing with this connector which this is the other side of it <clears throat> And as you can tell, we got this light right here on, so when you're backing up towards the trailer, that's working properly. Um, you would step up here, check your, check your handle right there, you check your springs for the hoses, check this handle, check the cab, make sure everything's working, check this stuff, check that stuff, and then what we're going to do, um, Make sure the air ride's good. Which you can hear it blowing off and all that, working properly. So it's, when you're pulling down, you're putting pressure to it, it's releasing it, and then it, when it goes back up, it's putting air back in it. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is come up here real quick. And we're gonna fire it up. Um, I released air in the primary uh, tank so you're gonna hear beeping from the uh, uh, brake system because that's gonna let us know that the um, uh, gauge is working properly so, make sure it's reverse make sure you got your parking brake on as you can tell you can hear the beeping coming from the gauge so that means it's working properly <clears throat> Now you got a engine light on, ABS on, so your ABS, as you can tell right here, your ABS modules, something's wrong with this, and we have to hook an IDS up to it <clears throat> and see what's going wrong with it. Um, as you can tell, the parking brake's on, which is normal because we have that set. There goes the, um, the beeping noise for the air brake system, so that means it's <clears throat> the compressor from the engine is uh, putting air to the uh, secondary chamber. Lights work for the gauges. Uh, as you can tell, turn signals, high beams. <clears throat> Make sure the windows work. Washer sprayers are working. Uh, and the hazards are working as well. <clears throat> so uh, now what we're gonna do is check the seat belt. So I'm gonna make sure it clicks in. Which it does, good. Now we wanna check just for if you get hit, see the function. See that's working. <clears throat> you can tell the lights inside the cab are working. So I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna turn lights off. <clears throat> and now step outside and now we're going to check the hood real quick <clears throat> now let's come over here real quick I didn't check this side for the uh, latch <clears throat> so as you can tell this one works now we're going to open the hood it should be at a 90 degree which it is so I know you can't really see it from here, but it's got a uh, air shock uh, to hold the hood up. So when you go to go <clears throat> put the hood back down, clear, it doesn't slam. It goes in softly and slow. And that is how you do a cab and hood inspection. <clears throat>